Hello everyone, this is Ayşe Sunar from Bitlis Eren University. I'm going to talk about Loom today. Loom is a web service providing a um, service for you to record your videos, to record your screen and, um, and share it. So it is not only an application for screen recording, but it is also providing a social environment. So you can see each other's video or you can collaboratively work on a video. Um, the, on the website, the use cases are usually about business, even though there is an education example too, but the focus is on uh, business. But I think it's a very handy application for education, especially considering long Zoom meetings, Zoom classes, and it is very good uh, application for um, recording online classes. Also, uh, providing hybrid classes and also I think it's a very good way to use in assessment so students can use it uh, for works as well. Uh, for pricing there is a free option so you can record up to five minutes videos or 25 minutes 25 videos per person but if you want some unlimited features you can go for a premium account. For sign-in option, so there's a bunch of uh, sign-in um, options with your Google, Slack, Apple, Outlook, Outlook. Uh, but also you can use your email as well. So I am going to sign in with my Google account. It just gets really a short time. So. Here's your environment. So there are notifications. For example, someone watched your videos and just shared the video with you or someone commented on your videos. So these notifications are there. So on in the library, it is your uh, library actually. The videos you um, recorded show up here. There are folders, you can make folders as well. There are archives, you can do archives. And there are secret shows, I haven't done any. And also on the home page, uh, there are some ready videos uh, provided by Loom. So the one of the best thing about Loom is it's your workspace. So you can actually invite your teammate. So it could be your colleagues you are uh, preparing the class together or your you know, company worker or um, or students. So there, there is that. For um, also to use Loom, uh, I usually use desktop app, but uh, there is a mobile app as well. So it is very handy because um, students also watch your videos uh, from their mobile. They don't have to have a proper laptop or um, desktop. Also, there is a Chrome extension, so you can use easily. To, to start recording, you're going, if you are using desktop, you're just going to uh, click on the icon. So this small window is coming up. So you can choose which camera you want to use. If you are using two desktops, it's asking which uh, desktop you want to use. And it's asking which camera you want to use, which, uh, which microphone you want to use. It's checking your internet speed. And then uh, <clears throat> when you start on start recording, it start recording. Also, this small uh, window showing your uh, uh, video and you can actually change the size, you can actually change the background, and for example, you can change your with your photo, and you can actually add like these fancy frames or these little backgrounds. It is up to you. So another good feature about Loom, it is not only helping you record your video, but it also uh, gives some features to edit your video. So for example, this video I recorded earlier. So here you can see some uh, uh, features here. So for example, trim and add clips. 
that one I use a lot. So you can see I actually merge different videos and I actually trim some of them. And also I can play with the playback rate. Um, and if you wanna go back to original one, you can choose revert to original. If you wanna delete one of the clips, so you can delete it. Or if you wanna add more, you can add clips. So another uh, feature is call to action feature. So you can use it two ways. Uh, for one, like you're collaboratively working on a video with your colleague, you just want to say something, okay, do this or um, consider this and things. So also you can uh, make this video interactive for your students. And for example, you want them to go for a reading. For example, this video is about something, um, a reading passage, it is related. So you want them to read or you want them to take a quiz and things. So you can actually link where they want to go. So I just edit this video's link though. <laughs> you can add any link here and say, okay, read this one. And you decide where to put it, for example, and the color and run the door squared. If you want, you can just add this at the end of the video or you can just uh, um, stick it to a precise location you want to do. So when you save call, so when you click on just so students will be able to click on this and it will go to the link you uh, edit. Loom also provides a transcription, so which is very good for, especially for uh, accessibility. Um, so it automatically removes some uh, filler videos, such as like, um, mm, uh, you don't have to use it though. So it gives you some, you know, timestamps and transcription. This is an automatic transcription, so it could uh, gives some errors though, it's mostly um, uh, precise. So as I said, this is a social environment. So you see that you can actually react the video or you can comment it. So you see, I had a comment here. And you see the, how many viewers you had. And if you see the engagement, you see, um, sorry, how many video total views and completion rate. So it is a very um, useful features. You can share the video just copying the link or um, you can actually download the video as well. So you can, I mean, if you are using another uh, learning environment that you, your university provides, so you can actually use this um, download and then and upload it somewhere else. To wrap up the video, I think Loom is a very easy uh, interface to use. And also it gives a really good opportunity to um, engage, react and give feedbacks to students. So uh, I hope you like it and I hope you can use it in the future.